In my last video, I showed off wall jumping, a quick, easy way to either get slams off or just to maneuver around the map. Sometimes wall jumping can be hard. Let's go back to basics. How do you get your slams on ball off? You grapple high, you swing, and you get that vertical height, and with that vertical height, you can slam. But there are quicker and easier ways to slam without having to show off your position and give them the opportunity to stun, stun or boop you. We call these the Toronto Kick and the Tightrope. Now I'm going to show how to do the Toronto Flip. So if you're scrappling with no momentum and press S, you will get enough height to slam. It will take a while, but eventually you get there. So now if you go with your momentum, you will get enough height right away. We all slam. So you just S, jump. You don't have to, sometimes you can jump, you don't have to jump, but just S, grapple, slam. I also want to let you show you guys why it's called the Toronto Kick. It comes after the Owl Team, Tron Defiant, because that's the shape you make. You go boom, back. When you fight, when you slam, you go forward, and the slam goes down, making the D for Defiant. I'm not gonna bother showing like a compilation like I normally do of all the spots you can do because literally all you need is a wall, something you can grapple. You can do this. That's the turtle kick. You can do it on every wall. The tightrope is a little more situational, but it's just as useful. So off of little, little heights like this, you cannot slam. I jump, it's just just a little bit too low to get a slam off. But with the tightrope, you can grapple it, and boom, slam. And you can, if you hold it longer, you can go farther inwards to get a slam off. The trick to do it is literally just grapple, jump, and W. You don't have to do anything fancy, it's just you grapple, you jump forward, and it will pull you in, but you'll get the height. So you can do this off the tiniest, tiniest little ledges. Like you saw there in Hanamura, you can see here like plants, planter boxes, that you can't slam off them normally, but with tightrope you can. So there's just little, that little ledge that it gives you is enough to get you high enough to slam. So when do you do what tech? Wall jumping is harder to pull off and less consistent, but uses no cooldown. The Toronto Flip and Tightrope are easier and super consistent, but take your grapple cooldown. Really it's just up to the ball player, I'm not going to tell you which one's better, just depending on how comfortable you are with the techs, how comfortable you are with wall jumping, and the scenario in, I can't tell you. Because, you know, if you're being May frozen, you're not going to get a wall jump off. If you're being swung by Reinhardt, it's going to be a little hard to wall jump. But then other times, you don't have that grapple cooldown and you need to slam, so you wall jump. It's just like a judge's scenario. You do you. Now, tight roping is not only used for slams. It can also be used for mobility purposes. Just like wall jumping, you can do it to get across gaps that normally you couldn't jump. But now you can with tightrope. So if you just jump this jump, or you jump and slam, you'll make it with slam, but you really don't want to have to use the slam cooldown. You cannot make this jump with jump, no matter how hard you try. Tight rope, grab it, jump, and you'll make that, and end it with fire, with speed. Uh, you could, you know, more people will grab the side and swing cross, but your fire ends way back here. If you tight rope it, your, your, your grapple stays on longer and your fire ends way longer. All the way to point as you can see here so instead of there you get here so it can be better for mobility and for causing gaps this is another good example you can't make this jump without uh slamming like just going straight if you just do the regular fire you can't make that without the slam because it's uh it's elevated but with tightrope you can basically yeah another effective use of this tech would be to go across gaps without line of sighting a McCree, a soldier, a widow, or something like that. So you can get uh, break the space between you two, get close to them for a slam, without having to take that damage. And now I will show a few examples of the spots that this mobility is possible. I'm coming myself without anything I, I, I.